Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a little farm video. I haven't put a video out for a couple days. Um, the 4020 diesel, it's about a 70s. It never had a cab when we got it. It, uh, excuse me, that was my stomach. I'm really hungry. <laughs> and it didn't have a Turbo 2 air cleaner. We put that on custom because a Turbo 2 was a lot better cleaning the air than the other one was, like the old glass one, glass air cleaners that you could see through. And uh, this one does run, but it needs some TLC, it needs some tires in the back, and uh, a battery, and a pump. The pump is out, the hydraulic pump. Other than that, it runs beautiful. Uh, there's no power steering to it right now, so that's the reason why the batteries are pulled and plus we don't have use for it Since we <laughs> don't have air conditioner and plus we used a 4430 to bale hay rake hay and cut hay With only one guy you don't need two tractors we used to just do it with two tractors and we had two guys, but now we just have one guy so um, We do start it from there and there. It's been started twice this year uh, We'll start it one more time before winter keep it up and running and lubed up and running good so um, no there's not a thing it just needs some TLC it's a normal thing for a tractor you know if it sits or gets used uh, it's a very good shape it's just a little dusty uh, should clean it off uh, runs beautiful engine don't burn oil new no, not a thing and there's the F600 we got wheat in there we're gonna use that for silage in about uh, less than a month now. I'm gonna be hauling silage for my dad. I'm gonna have to take this red thing off. Here's our Gale Baylor. We used to have a, uh, I think, was it a Gale before? I don't remember. I think it was a different brand. Here's our Brandt um, grain back. That sounds like a tornado siren. It's loud. Yeah, we didn't get to start these tractors this year. I'm sorry guys. It's just overwhelmed this year. It's outrageous. There's always next time. And this is the corn chopper we have to get ready. Yeah, what what, what number is it here? I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's a John Deere, but does it, it's probably on the other side, of course. Or is it back here? 3970. I don't know what year that is, probably 90, 70. There's our Ford, there's the Massey. I um, took the, uh, this off here, the cap off and looked at it and it needs a new cap and uh, points and stuff. They're all completely arced and it needs a new spark plug. So that'll be an next year deal. Um, that's why it wasn't starting. That's why I didn't crank on the starter too much because we've been having problems with the starter breaking the cone off inside. When you hit it, the starter it jams so hard and breaks the cone off inside. And the starter guy can't figure out why it keeps breaking cones. And it's on its fourth cone and the starter tests fine and it's a 12 volt system. So I don't know what the deal is with that. It's just odd why it keeps doing that all of a sudden. But uh, starter's fine. Engine's in good shape, very good health. It's a Massey Harris Ferguson, about a 60s, I'd say. Continental Motors, four cylinder, probably 30, 40 horsepower. Doesn't burn oil, it's always on full. We've taken really good care of it. This is my grandma, grandpa's tractor, and uh, it actually comes with a cultivated system, like it shows on here. It's out back, back there, but I, I can't get to it right now, so. It actually does have the cultivating system still with it. That tire looks pretty rough, but the other side's been replaced. Then we got the Case VAC, about a 60s. That one's shot. That one burns oil and won't run. Here's the F250 69 360 engine V8. It's got a 360 in it. This is the one that cannot be fixed. Too much money to restore, but we could probably sell it to somebody that wants to restore because it's still in good shape to restore. The engine's a dog, but it don't burn oil. Uh, it needs a water pump and fuel, uh, mechanical fuel pumps out and a carburetor, I'm sure. And I'm sure the, I don't even know if it has spark anymore. It probably don't. I, I honestly don't know. The brake lines are rusted out. There's no brakes. The steering's bad. Um, tires are 
Well, they're all right. Back ones are flat. No muffler, rear ends leaking oil. Transmission and clutch work, far as I know, last time I drove it. Uh, yeah, this is a 360, I guess. I looked it up, V8. It's 1969. It's probably has over 100,000 miles on the original engine. We bought it when it was two years old. So, boned it since almost new. And this is the color it looks. There's a little dent there, I guess, from the cow hitting it or something. Um, Jesus, they don't make stuff like that anymore. <laughs> and then we got a Super MTA here. Uh, this was my grandpa's. He passed away in 2001. That would be my dad's dad. He ran this all the time to push snow and to get hay for the cows. And they invented power steering on it. One of the top-notch guys that retired just lately. And they have a one cylinder hooked up to there and it goes up to here. It doesn't go through there anymore and it's just power steering. And that was the best invention we had way back in the 2000s and 90s. Boy, that was a good invention they did. They made a lot of money on that. Put a new starter on it, never drove it. Hasn't been started for probably 12 years. It's been sitting there. I'm sure that one sees too. Them M's seem to seize up. Them starters or whatever. So I imagine this one seized. It had a brand new carburetor and a starter's put on and a muffler before he parked it. That's right after he passed away. So I imagine it don't start. <laughs> this one you can't see inside. But it's really in good shape inside. It's just really dirty. Um, it's four speed manual. I drove this one when I was a kid. This is my first truck I learned to drive with was this one. Carbureted 1969 F250 Ford. Two wheel drive, that's the only thing. A lot of people around here want it 4x4, but tires are still holding air from 2000. Look at that. This pickup here is the one we replaced with the brown Ford diesel. And then the brown Ford diesel got replaced by, well, a four wheeler now. We don't use pickups anymore. It's hardly any rust on it. Looks in great shape. It's in very good shape. It's been inside a lot. We've in most of its life. We've taken really good care of it since he passed away. Even though it, I should get my um, bucket and wash this up. This thing, it's just filthy. Look at that. That's terrible. I'm gonna have to do that. Clean it up. Make it look nice. Maybe wax it. Cause look at that paint. It's still beautiful for a '69. A little, little dent there. She's got them. Good eyes. I like them lights. I call them eyes. That's where he ran out with a combine. It's a very good shape pickup. Like I said, you know, it needs some TLC. It's been sitting, you know, and nothing's gonna run good. And then everybody was asking about this yellow pickup or orange pickup back there. I think that's a Ford or is that an international? Um, I can't get to it. I, I don't think I can. Uh, there's probably mice in here, but. It's, uh, ooh, it's falling off its rim there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It's been sitting there since I was a kid. I've never seen it run. It was an old veterinarian's truck. I guess they ran that, and it burnt oil, so then they bought this pickup and ran this, and that's what the story is, what I heard, so I don't know. It's got a step there, and then you go up. There's a step inside. It's just a weird pickup. Oh, it must, it's got to be in a 50s. It's got to be an old 50s. It's twice as old as that one. I know that. And it looks like it says Ford on there. I think it's a Ford. I think it is, unless it's an international. But maybe you pickup experts would know what the heck that is, because I have no idea. I, I've tried to open that door, but it fell off there, and we had to put it back on that front door. So that pickup's been sitting there. I looked in the engine there, and it's got like a manifold that runs in front of the engine. I've never seen something like that. It's really rare and weird clean engine looks in good shape yeah maybe you can look at the tail lights and kind of guess I don't know that looks like an international I don't think a Ford does it doesn't have a tailgate either it was a county pickup they said so that's why I don't have a tailgate I guess all right so that's the end of this video for this I just want to do an update video saying that I won't be able to get to the vehicles this year which are tractors I wish I would have, but unfortunately I'm not. And uh, so, wait till you see the next video. <laughs> so anyway, guys, like I said, 
we'll get her going but this year it's uh, it's just too much to handle this year we got a lot of shit to do we got silage to do we got soybeans to do and corn and then we got to wrap up equipment and it's just for one person and then trying to help my dad it's too hard to do this you know so you gotta understand all right thanks for watching don't forget to comment subscribe follow me on twitter and wait till you see the next video